Hi, it's Alice. Um, this is my third video for, well, vlog for uh, Professor Flitwick's psychology class. And this week we are supposed to talk about our majors and why we chose them. Uh, as I said in the first video, I am a human rights major. Um, I chose to go into human rights because I want to help people someday. I, I don't really know why else you would go into human rights, to be honest. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of other motivating factors for that one. Um, but I guess, I guess that's not really enough to do a five minute video on. The way that I ended up deciding that I wanted to be focused on helping people um, was when I was happened when I was younger actually. Um, I was probably about five or something, maybe a little bit older, and I remember that I I was sad because my parents weren't at home and they hadn't been for a while because they were busy working. And so I was alone with my Aunt Helen and I I said, it's just not fair. Why why is it so hard for me? Everyone else seems to have their mom and dads at home. And on Helen, um, instead of saying, oh, it's okay, kind of like five-year-old me ex expected her to do, she took me aside and she decided to tell me about how lucky I was. She told me that it was okay to be upset and to miss mom and dad and to feel like it was unfair. But she told me about how there were so many other people in the world who were so much less lucky than I am. And that just, that really opened my eyes even at a really young age to realize how privileged I am. Um, I mean, my family's very well off financially and I know a lot of people aren't and that causes a lot of issues. And because of that and because of um, just the family I was born into and my race as well, I have a lot of, I'm very privileged. I have a lot of opportunities that not everyone gets and that's just, it's not, it's not fair. It's not fair that things are easier for me than someone else. And it's not fair that it's easier for my brother Edmund to do certain things than it is for me because he's a boy and I'm a girl. And that bothers me. It did then and it still does. And I didn't really, it took me a long time to figure out how to come to terms with how unfair the world is. To figure out how on earth children can be starving in place in places around the world and yet millionaires can be spending so much money just to go pollute our environment and do extravagant things that help no one and it was just it still boggles my mind sometimes to think that there are people that can be so selfish or not even realize how lucky they are and i i really want to do something about that i feel like I know how lucky I am, and so the only way to make it more fair that I'm more privileged than other people is to work towards making sure that they have more opportunities and that I make things more fair because it's a lot easier for me to do a lot of things than many other people could. And so I really want to go into a profession where I get to help people somehow. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I think probably law although not corporate, because I feel like I would be, I feel like there's more of a chance of me working for people who already are well off in corporate law than I would otherwise. I think I would prefer, I think I would prefer to do criminal law or I'd really rather do stuff with human rights, like pro bono work, as Ole said, I'm glad I've rubbed off on her a bit there. Um, I really think that that those would be the cases that I would want to do to defend people who have been taken advantage of by others or who have been screwed over by the systems that we have in place that are supposed to protect people. I, I would like to fix that. And I mean, part of me thinks that being a politician would be a good way to do that. And I haven't completely ruled it out, but I don't know if I could deal with all of the the lies and the backstabbing and stuff that happens in politics and I mean 
I know being a lawyer won't be all flowers and sunshine and rainbows and happiness and it'll be hard and that sometimes I might have to, depending on if I'm a um, defendant, a uh, defending lawyer or if I'm a prosecutor, I might have to defend someone that I don't want to or um, prosecute someone that I believe is innocent if I work for a big law firm. Um, but I feel like overall I'd be doing mostly good. So I'd really like to do that. Um, though I haven't ruled out being a social worker either because I'd also really like to help um, in that way. I think it would be good, especially if I got to work with children and teenagers. I think that would be something that I would enjoy doing. I just don't know if, I think it would be really hard for me to see firsthand, especially children who are being treated terribly. I think that would bother me um, almost too much and I'm worried I wouldn't be able to distance myself from that too much. I know I couldn't deal with helping with um, foster care or anything because I'd end up adopting all the kids. So that's what really keeps me back from going into that line of work. Um, so yeah, I mean, I really enjoy being a human rights major, especially because I get a chance to take a lot of legal courses as well because I'm planning on going towards a legal career. And so I really enjoy um, my classes and what I learn. I think it's really, it's really interesting and I can tell that it's something that I would really enjoy doing and that I think, or at least I hope, I would be good at. I've been really lucky to find a group of people that don't think I'm too ridiculously optimistic about being able to make a difference because I've managed to find people who really share my determination to try to make the world better for people and to try to make strides towards equality. Um, one of the ways that I really bonded with a lot of my closest friends now was through um, petitioning for gender neutral housing here at Hogwarts and I am still so incredibly proud that we managed to pull that off even though I still can't believe we did because Sirius and Peter thought it would be a good idea to do a concert on top of the library roof. It was a very good concert, but it wasn't really, teachers didn't like it, but. Um, so I'm really grateful for that. I'm really grateful for the support group that I have and I'm so proud that we managed to accomplish that and I feel really good thinking about how if we managed to accomplish that together in our first year, what else will we be able to accomplish when we graduate? I think we could accomplish great things. And so, yeah, I chose to be a human rights major because someday, and I might be very naive and too optimistic about the way I see things, and maybe I'm not realistic enough, but I'd like to think that someday I'm going to be able to make a difference. You know, I'm not going to make sure that everything is fair overnight. But if I can make just one person's life easier, then I've made a difference for them. And so I think for me that would be enough.